The Guardian, that will cheer us up, no doubt. Shocking state of prisons. Yeah, so it's shocking state of prisons means one in ten should be closed down. And it's Charlie Taylor, the chief inspector of prisons, and he's saying about 14 Victorian jails are so poorly designed they should go. And there are some shocking stats. Wandsworth was built for around 1,000 prisoners. It has 600 too many. Pentonville, built for around 450, has about 1,200. Wow. And it might be, some people say, might say, well, why do we care? It's prisoners. But, of course, it's not ideal because, as he points out, most of them are going to get out at some point. You want them to have some sort of life in there, you know, going to work, whatever it is, and, and, and so they have a better chance when they come out. We don't want to go full. Norway, where they've all got PlayStations and non-suite bathrooms. But you, you don't want to radicalise them, do right. you? Right. And, the and, and it's just like rats, it's overcrowding. And I have to say as well, I, don't, I haven't been in either of these places, but certainly Wandsworth and Pentonville are fairly expensive residential neighbourhoods now, and some of those Victorian prisons could probably be quite profitably yeah. sold I ha off. I have been in both prisons, yeah. and can I say it? Yeah. <laughs> a weird way you put it. They're not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I got through it. Get I remember fine. Pete Doherty was in Pentonville for a while when I did live just around the corner. I used to walk Pass it every day. Caledonian sure. Road, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You loser! Pete! <laughs> <laughs> Catch this, Pete! Don't Check look back in uh, the I'm surprised none of the prisoners have these, the, the concrete problems, the aero... Yeah. Oh, you know, because I thought that would be a very short sequel uh, to Shawshank Redemption. Yes. <laughs> for two weeks with a spoon. They just and they down just through with their bare fists. Get yeah. out, exactly. But this is the classic No, they're thing. all old, lovely brick buildings, aren't they? Well, I the ones, the, the inner city ones, yeah, yeah, they were built. But at the end, the government, like, every... So many of these articles where they're sort of identifying these problems within different parts of the system in the UK, not just prisons, but police or whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. And always at the end, there's a government spokesman say, well, we, we built one and we promised to build more and we're going to do more. And it's always just late. It's I never... would have thought the obvious thing to do is build something along lines of the Nightingale hospitals, you know, just like very temporary, and then just use manacles because obviously the, the security systems won't be that good, but you just use the old ankle. From your, private, from your private collection. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and gin yeah. traps, that sort of thing, and dogs. They do claim they're going to have 8,000 prison places by May 25 and they're delivering 20,000 additional spaces. They, they, made, they made those claims at the end. I suppose in a culture where you've got increased crime, you're, you're likely to also have dilapidated buildings. This is the problem. It's that a declining the culture. It's, a, it's all part of the spiral. In decline. But I still say castration is an overlooked opportunity. Anyway, <laughs> uh, moving on. Moving on. <laughs>